Hey guys, Marlo back again with another review, and I hope you guys are all staying safe and, uh, you know, keeping yourself in quarantine and away from everything out there with the pandemic going on. Anyhow, I was able to make a quick run to my local Target store, and while shopping, of course, I had to look at the toy section, and lo and behold, I was able to find a couple new figures. We have here two Black Widow figures, one from the upcoming movie, Black Widow. Unfortunately, the May release was pushed back to November, so hopefully they will meet that November date and hopefully we will all survive this pandemic and make it out to the theaters once again by November. The other version here is a uh, comic book version. I believe this is a Target exclusive, so you can only get her at Target as far as I understand. This other version here, the movie version, I think it's a regular wide release, so you should be able to find her at most retail stores that carry Marvel Legends figures. So anyhow, figured I'd do an unboxing of both since they're pretty similar. Uh, they're both Black Widows in her white outfit. So here they are, the front of the uh, packages. The side of both. Let's take a look at that. Again, one from the movie, one from the comic. And the back side of both. Don't know the story behind the comic version and why she was wearing white. I I just, I guess, I don't know, she's just in camouflage in the snow. That's all I can uh, assume from the white outfit there. If you guys know, please uh, mention in the comments below why she has the white outfit and maybe which comics I can uh, look up to see her in the white outfit because I'm curious to know myself. Uh, again, here we have the movie version. If you want to read any of this stuff, just pause the video at any point and hopefully you can uh, catch up on your reading there. And this figure comes with some crazy accessories, a crazy display base. So I think this might be the first time that I can recall that a Marvel Legends figure is coming with a crazy display base like that the other side of the package and the bottom side just in case you either you are curious to know the UPC or whatever if you're at your local Target store here is the bottom for this one so again you can see all those crazy accessories there a bunch of hands weapons there a bunch of explosions and gunfire so let's go ahead and open these up and take a closer look at both figures out of package and here we have both figures and all of their accessories out of the package. Here are the figures. And look at all of these accessories. Holy moly. Anyways, if you're wondering, the figure here costs about $30 retail. Kind of expensive, but you do get all these accessories. I don't know if the extra $10 was worth it as far as all these accessories. What do you guys think? Is it worth it? Get a crazy display stand and all these explosions and I don't know, extra flash effects for the gun, I suppose, and I don't know, other weapons, things like that. So, hmm, not sure again if it's worth the extra $10, but uh, still something different. At least they are trying and they're offering something different from the usual uh, releases. The accessories here for the comic version. You can see uh, three different uh, weapons there with, again, some flash effects and some smoke, which is kind of cool. That's kind of different. So, I like to see that. And uh, let's see, let's take a closer look at the figures. Right away, I noticed that the white on mine here in the midsection is a different kind of plastic. It looks I don't know, it's different. It's more of a white white as opposed to what you see on the rest of the body. I don't know if it's coming through on the video, but the rest of her is a different shade of white. It's kind of a pearlescent, kind of slightly creamier white as opposed to what you see there in the midsection. Let me know what you guys feel about that. Is that correct? Is that how she was in the comic? And I was asking about which comic she was in. I just noticed the uh, title there. It says, uh, what is it now? Deadly Origin. So I'm guessing that's the name of the comic series. 
that she was in. If she was wearing this outfit in any other comic, though, let me know. Curious again about that. But yeah, that kind of bothers me, that sort of off-white that's different from the rest of the costume there. I just hope the plastic here doesn't, like, turn yellow over time and this piece stays white or vice versa. Maybe this part might yellow over time and these stay that color. I don't know. It's just a different plastic, so I don't know. That kind of bugs me. The head sculpt is really nice, though, as well as the paint job. I got a nice... I guess fairly clean paint job on mine. Like the lips, would have liked a little more cleavage there, so that's unfortunate. Looks a little bit weird there in the chest. Kinda kinda rough looking. I don't know. She looks like she's old there or something. So that's unfortunately. I think there's a bit of a uh, mold seam line down the middle. So I don't know why they chose that area to do that. Uh, you can see the rest of the accessories there. I think these are reused from previous Black Widow figures. Probably the body too. The back of the figure. And again, I think... I'm not sure if this is an all new head sculpt, so I'm going to have to revisit some of my other Black Widows. Again, feel free to comment below if you guys know. Is it new or is it reused? So, we'll see. And moving on to the movie version here. Nice likeness to uh, Scarlett Johansson. Not too bad. Paint job is also pretty cool. See some kind of weird... Uh, there's a little bit of paint there on the forehead. I don't know what that is. But uh, yeah, that's a little bit unfortunate. I think that's like a paint rub or something. But again, the likeness isn't too bad. And the design on the outfit, pretty cool. The sculpting looks pretty nice overall. Kind of like these holsters, those are pretty cool. So again, a whole new, all new design there. Very nice. So let's set her down, let's set this one down. And, wow, let's get to building this crazy display stand. So give me a second, let me see if I can figure all this out, get them posed up, and give you guys a look at both figures with their accessories. All right, I got the figures set up with some of their accessories, but let's go ahead and try to assemble this stand. Let me see if I can do this with you guys. Um, hopefully the camera won't fall over. Uh, let's see, so the base, I guess you can plug it into anywhere with the little ball there into any of these sockets. So let's pop it into this corner like so. It's kind of cool, you get that little Hasbro logo there. So again, you can pop it into any of these holes there. As far as these smaller holes, there's a foot peg there. But as far as these other smaller holes, you can plug in these crazy flash effects. Let's see, something like that, I guess. I don't know, kind of weird, but that's what those are for. But let's go ahead with the stand. Uh, let's see, the next thing would be this piece. Would go into that. And then this piece here, this has a spring-loaded grasper thing here. Clasp, I guess you can call it. Uh, easy plug into there. And let's see, oops. Comic version fell over. Let's pick her back up. There is the display stand for the most part. You can lower this portion, let's see, like that. This rotates right here. There's some swivel. Uh, trying to do this with one hand. You can see how that rotates there. So again, different options as far as display, as far as height. So let's go ahead and stick Scarlett Johansson on here and let me get some of the explosions on there too. This one has a weird peg, so again it plugs into one of these bigger holes I imagine. I don't know why they had to do that. I mean, kind of unnecessary. It's a big enough thing that it would sit anywhere by itself, but I guess if you 
I don't know, wanted to move the whole display around, it stays in place, but still kind of weird that they did that. So, yep, let me get her posed up for you guys. And here we have both figures finally with uh, the, dis the display stand there for the movie version. Kind of a generic pose. Well, not too generic, but simple pose there. Not too different from what they have there on the box. Just wanted to show you guys what she looks like with the uh, effect there on the uh, wrist gauntlet. There she is with that weird other weapon. I don't know if that's like an ice pick or something. Kind of a funky weapon there. Her pistols are housed in the holsters there. The uh, holsters don't really hinder the articulation too much, so that's kind of good to know. Uh, and there is the base with all those crazy explosions. I don't know. Not really necessary as far as I'm concerned. I don't know. Kind of weird. Why are there so many explosions? And why is the base clear with all these explosions? Don't know. <laughs> Would have been cool if it was like a snow scene maybe, because I'm guessing that's what's going on in the movie. Again, I really don't know, but here's some looks at the figure with the display stand. I guess you can reuse the stand for any of your other Marvel Legends figures. Maybe with Iron Man or some of the other characters that can fly actually. Here uh, Black Widow is more or less like leaping away from all of those explosions I guess. Let me see. Uh, we have her like take more crazy action pose like that. And here we have the comic version. Put those smoke effects in the guns there. Kind of cool looking, I think. You get a bunch of these uh, pistol firing effects with a lot of the other figures. Don't recall too many of these smoke effects, if any at all. This might be the first time. I don't recall exactly, but I like how those are. I hope they include more of those with future figure releases that have pistols or guns and I'm not gonna bother with points of articulation you guys know everything with Marvel Legends already they're pretty much all the same don't want to waste your time so just wanted to give you guys an overall look and a rundown of both figures so again $30 for this 20 for that don't know if they're worth it it's up to you guys if you guys are hardcore collectors probably so this could eventually go on clearance. I can definitely see that happening. Could go down, you know, to 20 bucks. This one could be the same. With tar Target exclusives, you never know. So uh, it's up to you guys if you want to play the waiting game. But just wanted to have these in hand now. Uh, nothing much else out there at the moment. And stuck in quarantine at home, it gets boring. So, <laughs> anyhow, I hope you guys enjoyed this quick unboxing and review. If you did, please give the video a thumbs up, share the video, like the video, and if you haven't already, please do subscribe. Be sure to click the bell below to get notified of future video releases. I'd really appreciate it. Take care, keep on collecting, and I will see you all next time. Bye-bye.